Namaste friends, welcome back to Feather Suit. In today's topic, we'll be seeing the birds which you can see in my background. Yes, it's a complete guide and care about my uh, one of my favorite birds that's cocktails. Guys, uh, cocktails are basically from Australia. So Australia is also called as a land of cockatoos. All the cocktail and cockatoos uh, types of uh, families can be seen there. So uh, cocktail belongs to a cockatoo family where you know you can see a wide varieties of uh, uh, cocktails in Australia. So uh, the naturally wild color is gray uh, and in the captive breeding you can see uh, colors like fawn, lutino, albino etc. So there, uh, they are around 15 to 20 inches in the size. Uh, their lifespan is around approximately around uh, uh, 20 years. That is actually into uh, records, but uh, they they can live up to 40 years also. I have seen people who has a single cocktail of 35 years, 42 years. So. Uh, they are excellent talking bird and they also do whistle as per you train them. Varieties, uh, there are around 25 uh, registered varieties which can be seen. Uh, something like uh, albinos, lutinos, saddlebag, butterfly, pied, heavy pied, etc. So when it comes to their diseases, uh, guys they they get certain diseases which is quite common once again it all depends on how you take care of them how hygienely you keep them so eye problem mites liver problem bumble foot and spread legs spread legs now it is very common uh, commonly seen in uh, cocktails guys because you know cocktail price at present is in a very high demand post uh, pandemic lockdowns where many people are you know uh, trying to uh, you know get at least one cocktail in their uh, home in uh, at least one cocktail with them so what is happening is like they'll be taken forcefully from the nest box and you know they'll be sold when they are 15 20 days old you know where you know there is where you know uh, all the organs will be uh, uh, actually getting developed and you know spread legs are commonly commonly seen now uh, so the all for the, all this treatment i have also made a separate video of birds medicine and the, uh, uh, about the birds medicine and how it works you can just uh, look into that uh, uh, topic so that you can get a wide varieties of uh, vital information to you so when it comes to diet you can give all types of vegetables which once again keep them very strong and you know their feathers will be very shiny naturally uh, fruits uh, avoid citric fruit something like musambi orange uh, etc okay and uh, we sprouts something like black chana wheat uh, green grams uh, beans etc so you can soak overnight and give every day uh, to your uh, cocktails. So guys, as you can see here, like I give them minimum of 100 grams every day for all the birds. They rely more on the watery content food than the dry seeds, which will be always there inside their cage. And seed mix. Seed mix also, you should avoid seed mix in the summer season and you can provide them more in the cold season why because birds are tend to eat less in the cold season um, than any other seasons and uh, when it comes to breeding guys so their breeding season is a summer season uh, as everyone knows all the cocktail lovers knows they are a lazy brooders even if they hatch the egg 
they 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 will be very successful raising one or two chicks maximum only the matured and properly cared pairs will be raising up to five chicks my cocktails they are brilliant in brooding they are brilliant in raising the chicks why because i wait wait and i'll give them the things required at the right time even if they show the early mating signal uh, sig uh, symptoms and everything even then i'll not be compromised big uh, with respect to their health aspects so i'll give at the right time even though i think if you can you can listen you know uh, uh, chicks are asking for feed in one of my uh, breeding box so uh, when and how so what is the perfect age for a cocktail to be paid and uh, to give the breeding box male should be at least 18 months old that's like one and a half year and female should be at least 15 months old that is like one year two months uh, so the mating duration what will be the mating duration once you keep uh, leave them as a pair around exactly around uh, one minute 60 seconds it will properly you uh, know a male will go be going on the female and they'll be uh, mating uh, they lay, lay up to five to seven eggs on an average so minimum they will lay five eggs and maximum they may go up to seven eggs the incubation period will be somewhere between 17 days to 21 days even these uh, uh, birds once they listen the heartbeat they will not at all they they will not be uh, uh, compromised they will make sure that the eggs is hatched okay uh, if if the parents are raising their chicks with of uh, 54 days if bird if parent is only raising the chicks in 54 days they'll be uh, you know in, in 54 days they'll be uh, self uh, faded which means like uh, chicks will be nested out properly if you are taking them for hand feeding after 15 or 16 days from their hatch you need to feed the bird for 90 days and on an average their body weight will be around 120 gram uh, 90 grams on an average but the bird which i have with me weighed around 120 grams uh, so the food consumption on an average of one bird will be around 15 to 20 grams if you uh, if they are eating only depending on seeds then they'll be eating around 15 to 20 grams and when 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 they are eating mixed uh, fru uh, food like uh, sprouts and everything then that might go to up to 25 grams on an average they eat up to 25 grams and the water consumption uh, they consume around 15 ml of water on an average in a day and gender identification you can identify uh, a cocktail gender through dna pelvic bone that is vent area testing through feathers through birds behavior whistling and the mating behavior and you know uh, showing that aggression towards other birds and last but not least about the pendulum sexing method also guys if you ask me my observation cocktail is the best thing to have it as a pet because they are very loyal with their uh, owners uh, they are very trustworthy they are very honest as i was telling uh, they are actually especially the red eye cocktails are raising brooders if they hatch five eggs they will be successfully raising only one chick all the other four chicks you are supposed to by default after uh, 10 days or five days you are supposed to take them for hand feeding so if you are an expert hand uh, feeding uh, a guy then you can save all the chicks or else then it will be difficult so uh hand feeding is as i was telling hand feeding is the only way to you know um, um, save all the chicks and you can make them uh, big they are very highly talkative bird and very intelligent bird they observe each and every moment of you and try to imitate them through their whistling or they try to 
uh, instantly give the replay to you for example i am training these two flocks into the next level because they are uh, they are they observe very keen for example up wings will come Blue. up up come here come here Stop. see they respond to my comments so they are into the next level where i am trying to make them speak some difficult words so as you can see as you saw they are keen observer keen uh, they uh, react to your comments their uh, the uh, have perfect cage size for birds is like 2 into 2 into 2 is uh, the same cage what you're seeing behind or 2.5 into 2.5 2.5 will be also very handy to them the next mating real what you can give is the wood shavings once after you pair the bird the process is very simple guys uh, once you pair the bird what will happen next is like once after the proper bonding before they mate they go inspect the next box for next two or three days they try to bite inside and outside the cage uh, inside the nest box uh, once they feel this place is secure to them then they'll mate so that's how uh, they are when before they uh, breed so uh, matured very very matured birds give a very good results in raising the birds or brooding the eggs uh, when compared to black eye and red eye black eye gives a very good results when in the uh, uh, in raising their chicks when compared to red eye red eye chicks by default you are supposed to take them for hand feeding or else you will lose the bird provide them very good healthy diet like sprouts or seeds or anything like that so that you get a very good result even after the chicks are hatched so guys these are about the complete guide about the cocktails if you are uh, seriously uh, having only cocktails then it's a high time and you are supposed to by default spend more time with them especially uh, the post hatching time so this is about the small topic about a uh, complete guide about the cocktails i am available in almost all social media apps do follow me in all those things and do give your valuable support to me this is chetan signing off from Feather Suit. Thank you. Thank you once again.